finding truly unique books is almost impossible these days. But if you want to read something different amidst the chaos of fantasy novels, then We Are Terror by Hugo Dumas is a good pick. Hi there, I am Manpreet. I make book related videos on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. And if you're new here, please make sure you subscribe, follow me on my social media and hit that bell button so that you get notified every time I post a new video. In today's video, I am working with the author of this book, Hugo Dummers, to bring you a spoiler-free review of We Are Terror. We Are Terror is the second book after By Death Defined in this series of fantasy novels. In this book, the supernatural world and humans are at war. For centuries, there has truly been no match for vampires and werewolves. But now the humans have developed a ghastly formula that can put them as equals to the supernatural strength. What supersedes is an open war. The king of vampires, Joseph, has declared a war against the humans. So that is what this book is about. But before we begin, is it necessary to read By Death Defined by Hugo Dumas to be reading this book? Not at all. By Death Defined was a very different book, okay? They are a part of one series, but it hasn't been revealed how they are connected and I couldn't guess it. So you can totally pick up We Are Terror before By Death Defined and enjoy this book. Should you read By Death Defined? Definitely yes, I like that book as well and I have reviewed it on this channel. I'll link it down below in the description, so do check it out. Okay, so starting with the review, We Are Terror is one of the most unique books that I've read amidst all the fantasy novels that I know about or that I've read. Only a few days back, I happened to have this discussion about fantasy novels and how to write a unique or a good fantasy novel and I realized how much I appreciate how this novel is because it's written so differently. The way he puts together this book, how there's a war going on and how everything happens within this war, even the backstories happen while this war is happening, it's just so unique. And it's so hard to explain. If I had to make you really understand how unique this book is, I would say just go and read it only then you will understand. But otherwise also, I made this list of 80 plus subgenres of fantasy novels or how fantasy novels can be written. And this one is different from all of those. So that's how unique and that's how amazing this book is. Just the writing and the execution of this book is superb. So this book captures a specific time in the action-filled life of these characters while he very cleverly, while the author very cleverly dives into the backstories and blends it all together in such a smooth and excellent and wow manner. Honestly, I believe this is the writing style of the author because he did the same with By Death Defined and I feel like he has done it even better in We Are Terror. Honestly, this book is your dream fantasy novel come true. There are vamps and werewolves who hate one another but yet they have to come together to fight a greater evil. Characters that are supernatural and beastly and yet they manage to connect with you at a deeper level. They just manage to create a soft spot in your heart somewhere. And the backstories of these characters make them even more relatable to you. And honestly, you may not like what they do in the book or what they have been doing, but there really is a beautiful place in this book for all of these characters and you really like them as a part of this just book. Like the, just like the previous book of the author, the story, the plot follows a very short path. The war has already begun and there is a big attack planned on this human capital Moscow. And soon you will just flip through the pages and find out what happened at the end. That's just the style of the author. He really doesn't go all dark and twisted with the plot. He really doesn't go Meredith Grey with the plot. He just keeps it simple and short and fills pounds and pounds of beauty in the execution. You know, just the thrill of reading everything that happens in the book while you are slowly going into the backstories as well. It's just beautiful. Honestly, I'm overwhelmed. I have read several books that are written in the usual way with a little bit of different plot or, you know, something done differently. But I haven't read anything that is done so differently, that is done so uniquely. I really wish I could get hold of more such books because it's just fantastic. So yes, I told you about the unique writing style of the author, how he just captures this small specific amount of time in a story and then tells you the whole story within that time frame and how he has beautiful characters, how these characters are so relatable and you know, you empathize with them and 
all of it and it has a very nice reference that i would not talk about okay i really want to talk about it so understand that i did say a lot of things about this particular reference in the book but i did not say it because they would have acted as a spoiler but i really enjoyed that reference and i really am like feeling stupid because i did not catch that reference until the end of the book <laughs> But I really like that as well. Cannot talk about it because it's a spoiler-free review. But if you do end up reading the book, please DM me on Instagram on what you think about that reference and what you think about that connection. Okay. Anyway, anyway overall, what I would like to say is that if you are a fantasy lover, bored with fantasy, waiting for your next fantasy novel that will make you very excited, then this is the book for you. If you are looking for a fantasy supernatural thriller, then you should definitely try this book. We are Terror by Hugo Douglas. I would definitely recommend this book to all the fantasy lovers out there who are trying to find best fantasy novels out there and read them all. My ratings for this book is 4.5 out of 5 stars. Honestly, I just love this book. I really have this list in my mind about the people who should definitely read this book. Okay, the people I know, the writers I know, the readers I know. I really have this list of people who would be like, Manpreet, wow, thank you so much for suggesting this book to us because this is this is unique so just go ahead and read it and let me know if you know similar books like these okay <laughs> even though it will just um, counteract my statement about this being very unique okay but i really want to read more books like this so make sure you tell me about that make sure you check out this book and if you do end up reading it make sure you tell me in the comments down below what you think about it okay thank you so much for watching this review this is be signing off i'll be back with another review very soon